Oh my God. Oh my God. Our tribal chief. He's back. The tribal chief is back. Our tribal chief is back. My tribal chief. Your tribal chief. Our tribal chief. The OTC. The OTC's back. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. My friends. I'm sorry. This is making a lot of noise. My friends. Oh my God. He's back, baby. Oh, he's back, baby. Welcome to the Wicked Bitter channel. I'm Travis. Thank you for checking out this video. If you're somebody who is new to this channel, please hit subscribe. First thing we all have to do, first of all, hit like on this video. If you're new here, if you're not new here, regardless, whoever you are, you're here now, and that's all that matters. Hit like on this video. It helps me a great ton. It helps the channel a great ton. It helps get this video out to other people who don't know this channel yet. We need all the wrestling fans on this channel because things are about to pick up in WWE and we got to get into it. Look, I'm going to make a whole video talking about Summer Sam. That's what this video was supposed to be about, okay? I was going to make a whole video recapping everything. And let me tell you something. That video is going to come. But I have to spend this video talking about what just happened at the end of SummerSlam. Cody Rhodes versus Solo Sokoa, WWE Undisputed Heavyweight Championship on the line. Good match, solid match. And then somewhere in there, it gets a little it gets a little funky. It's bloodline rules. We should have expected this to happen, right? Tamatonga, Tongaloa, they come out. They start triple teaming Cody Rhodes. He still finds a way to kick out. And then all of a sudden, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton come out to help. They fight off the Tongaloa and the Tamatongas of the world. They go out and they they fight them backstage. They're out of our sight, out of mind, whatever, all that stuff. They're gone. And then Cody continues the match on. And then Cody looks like he's about to win. And then Jacob Fatu comes in. And Jacob Fatu beats up Cody. And we get a double team. Fatu puts Cody through the announce table. And we're thinking, damn, at least I was. I was like, wow, is this really going to happen for Solo? For, for a minute there, I, I thought nothing was going to help Cody Rhodes here. I, I thought we're going to get Jimmy out here. We're going to get Jay out here. I, I thought that was going to happen. That is not the case. And instead, Cody goes through the table. Jacob Fatu is like hurt. His leg hurts. His foot hurts. He's selling the injury. He tells Solo, finish it, finish it. Solo gets Cody back into the ring. He tries to pin Cody for the one, two, three. Cody kicks out. Okay. I'm thinking, all right. You can already see. You can already see the all of the fans, the whole arena on their feet. They're all thinking, what is going to happen? Is the man we all been wanting to come out, is he finally going to come out? Is he going to finally return? And you know what? We get our damn answer. The OTC, the original tribal chief, Roman Reigns, the head of the table, his song plays. I think it's like a different version or something. But as soon as it hit, that crowd went nuts. And I feel like because this is in a stadium and it's outdoors, I feel like the pops all night probably weren't as loud on TV as they were in person. But even though that's that may be the case, when Roman's song hits, you just know it was a big pop. I mean, I could only imagine how it sounded in the arena. But Roman Reigns' song hits. He comes out. I thought he'd come out with Paul Heyman. I thought he'd come out with Jimmy and Jay. Nope. Just Roman by himself. Man, what a sight to see. I can't believe he's back, man. I'm excited. I'm happy for. I'm happy that he's back. I, I'm. I'm ecstatic. Like this was going to be a whole predict, a whole review video, but I have to spend it talking about Roman Reigns and the possibilities of what we have going on here. So Roman comes down to the ring. He runs into the ring, charges up the fist, Superman punch to Solo, and then he looks at Cody. And I thought this was a really cool moment. He looks at Cody, and then he nods, and then he leaves the ring. So, solidifying it, okay? This is solidifying it. We got Roman Reigns as the babyface. Can I tell you something? As much as excited I am, right? As excited I am about this, I still... I don't see Solo on the same level as Roman Reigns. I just, I feel like they haven't built Solo up enough. I, I feel like they haven't done it enough for when the time came where Roman did come back, which ended up being tonight. But when he did come back, it's like I wanted to be able to look at the two and be like, all right, this is like two top tier, you know, they're, they're on the same level kind of guys. And I mean, Roman is there without question, but Solo? Nah. Solo's still got some work to do. And I think if any of us are to take this serious, right, if WWE wants the fans to truly believe that Solo Sokoa is a major threat to Roman Reigns, he has to be built up a little more. And I don't know how you're going to do that because Roman's here now. 
Daddy's home. The tribal chief is back. And the kids are all scurrying away. <laughs> like we got Solo at the, the closes out the night. He's just yelling, sitting on the you know on the ground on the outside of the ring, on the floor of the outside of the ring. Um, Fatu with him. What is this going to mean from here on out? I mean, I don't see right. Even though Roman will be classified as a babyface, I don't see Kevin Owens and uh, Randy Orton. And even maybe even Cody Rhodes, I don't really see them being buddy buddy with Roman. I don't think that's it at all. But clearly, Roman's going to be outnumbered in this feud. I mean, this is this is four against one against Roman. Now, maybe Cody helps out, you know, because Cody's the ultimate good guy, the ultimate babyface. But I could see Randy and Kevin not wanting any part of Roman after everything he's put them through, and I could see Cody trying to convince them, and I don't think it's going to work. And then that's where maybe we get Jimmy Uso back in the picture. Maybe this is where we get Jay comes over for a little bit. Um, regardless of what, how that gets handled, I, I, I think I could speak for all of us where I would love to see the Usos reunite with Roman Reigns and take on this uh, Solo, Solo Sokoa's bloodline, uh, which that would still mean it's four against three. You can do it where... You have Tongaloa not wrestle, I guess, because WWE just doesn't like him. <laughs> or or you could find an extra teammate, and that extra teammate could be Cody for the time being, or um, you know, it could be um, Sami Zayn, I guess, if you want to. My my whole thing is, and I'm going to get into this when I do the reviews of SummerSlam, since, Co- since Sami Zayn lost the Intercontinental Championship, I'm sure he'll get a rematch. But I think what we're going to get I think we will get the tag team of Jay and Sammy going for the tag team gold, which then could lead to when Jay, the time comes for Jay to help a Roman, he still tag champs with Sammy, so Sammy kind of just comes along. How great would it be to see the bloodline reunite with Sammy Zayn in it for a moment? Like the pop of that is going would be crazy, right? So I am here for that. Um, this is a, a can't miss SmackDown coming up. I mean, we just cannot. Miss SmackDown. Uh, this was uh, overall. I'm going to talk about another video. Overall, I really enjoyed SummerSlam. We have some things to talk about. We have some glaze to be glazing. If you know what I'm talking about, if you follow this channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Glaze is coming, and that's coming in the other video. But right now, this video about our tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Put your fingers up for our tribal chief. He is back, baby. And I am more excited than I could ever be. This could mean. So many things. Look, we're going to get more into it in another video. I just wanted to put this one out there to get the immediate reaction of myself and of all of you. Please leave a comment about how you feel about Roman Reigns being back. Did you think they handled it correctly? What do you think is going to happen from here? Do we get the Usos? Do we get someone else? Do we get Owens and, and, and Orton and Cody helping Roman? What do you think will happen regardless? Great show. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep an eye out for the other video I'm going to put out about the entire show of SummerSlam. I will be doing a review, and then I will be posting this as well on YouTube. But for right now, my friends, have a good rest of your night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Watch out for the other videos. Make sure you hit like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Leave a comment. And as, until we yeet again, there's that one thing that I always say that we have to do, and that is stay bitter. Stay bitter.